So, tip number one is your bike. So I'm sure you've been to a triathlon race and you've seen these bright, shiny, fancy bikes like this right here that are out there racing the race and you're wondering how are you gonna do a race and afford to buy one of these? Well, you know what? You don't have to have a fancy tri-bike to do your first, second, third, first year of triathlon racing. You can do it on something like this, a conventional road bike. You don't have to have the fancy arrows package. You could do it in your conventional drop handle road bike, just like you would ride any group ride on a Saturday morning with your friends. Or you could try it on something like this, a beach cruiser. Yeah, you could do a triathlon on a beach cruiser. Your first triathlon, it doesn't matter. As long as the bike is in good working order, has good brakes, and you could ride it for the distance that the race is set up for, you can ride that bike. Go. So we now know that you can use any bike you want for a triathlon, as long as it's in good working condition and you can make the distance. But the question of the day is, what are the other seven tips that are gonna get you to the finish line, get that medal around your neck and give you the satisfaction of knowing that you are forever a triathlete. Well, today's video is sponsored by jscoachingsystems.com, 10 for 10 sprint triathlon training plan. Down below, you'll find a link in the description to my email, also in the pinned comment. Go on down, make sure you give a comment, make sure you hit subscribe. Now, on to some really great information. Tip number two is fuel. What we need to think about is the fact that water is just not gonna be enough. We have to make sure that we're changing our mindset about what we put in our body. Think about a NASCAR. They don't go around that track as fast as they can, pulling up to the gas station and putting regular gas in the car. We gotta make sure as an athlete that we put good quality fuel in our body, bringing the right amount of calories, the right amount of carbohydrates to fuel ourselves through the activity that we have just done. Afterwards, we have to make sure that we take in approximately 18 to 20 grams of protein within a half an hour of each one of our workouts to allow our body to start rebuilding and moving on to the next activity. So you have to take and change your mindset. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that will give you ideas for fueling your body correctly for training and racing triathlon. Well, that brings us to tip number three, training. We got to make sure that we train our bodies correctly for that race that you have coming up. If you want to get out there and you want to try a triathlon, I love it. Please go out there, sign up for a race. Let's get this thing going. But remember that you have to have a plan to get you to the starting line in good physical condition with as little injury as possible and ready to actually race. Now, if you're getting valuable information from this, go down below, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, because we're gonna bring you many, many videos, more and more great information. That brings us to tip number four. That's the swim. This is the area that most people have a problem with is swimming in these triathlon races. And that's why I have my trusty wetsuit out because you're gonna end up with water that never gets warm enough not to be wetsuit legal. So you may need to have a wetsuit, but I now own this Orca wetsuit. Down below, you'll find a link to Orca wetsuits uh, for more information. But I would suggest that you rent a wetsuit if you have to for your first race, if the water temperature is down below 75 degrees, uh, I would suggest either buying or renting a wetsuit. The only other gear you're gonna need for, for the swim is a good quality pair of goggles and a swim cap. But the things you wanna practice in the swim is sighting. And here's a quick little drill. What I want you to do is I want you to get in the pool and I want you to take five strokes with your eyes closed, pop your head up, look forward, take a mental photograph of what's ahead of you, close your eyes, swim five more strokes, thinking about aiming at the far end of the pool at the spot where you wanna go in your mind, not following that line. That will help you learn to sight and to swim straight. On sighting in open water, what you wanna do is you wanna find the buoy ahead of you and see something in the distance that's big, uh, a house, a tree, 
a bridge, something that's ahead of you that you can, when you pick your head up and you take that mental picture, you can see it. And when you put your head back down to take the stroke, you see in your mind that spot where you're aiming for. You open water swimming, take some getting used to, make sure you get that in your training plan. Get out there and do some open water swimming. On to tip number six. Tip is practice transition. And what I wanna tell you right now is I've done a full series on transitions from, the, from packing your bag all the way to just before the race starts. It's a three part series. Right here, you see it above me. There's also going to be at the end of this video, there will be a link to a playlist of things for you guys to learn as new triathletes that includes that half hour series, three different videos on transition. Oh, oh man, oh, that feels good. Woo, oh, 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 I'm back. Okay, sorry. Tip number six is recovery. This is as important as the training. Just think. What a lot of people do is they go in there and they overtrain. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to overtrain because how you overtrain is you think, if I'm going to get ready for this race, I am going to train seven days a week for 10 weeks. And eventually what happens is your body breaks down and breaks down and breaks down so much you have not given it a chance to recover and you get overtraining injuries. Overtraining injuries are impossible to recover from in time for the race. You want to make sure that in the individual workouts, there are recovery periods between hard parts of your exercise. Number two on that is you wanna make sure that you have recovery days. As you go through the workouts, you're breaking down the muscles in your body. Your workouts aren't making you stronger. Technically, your workouts are making you weaker. They're killing muscle cells that your body replaces from my research at a rate of like 1.5 to 1.7 cells, that's why you get bigger and stronger. You want to allow your body to replace those cells and adapt to all of the training that you've gone through. Plus, about every third or fourth week, you want to have a recovery week where you're back your training way off and allow yourself to recover and really deep adaptation to the training. So. Tip number six, recovery, just as important as training. Well, folks, that brings us to tip number seven. This one I see a lot of questions on when I'm scrolling through the groups of new beginner triathletes, and that's what should I wear through the triathlon? Do I change clothes between each discipline? No, what we wanna do is we wanna get some race specific gear or a kit. And what the minimum you wanna have would be a pair of tri shorts and what tri shorts are is they're a pair of uh tight fitting pair of shorts that have a light padding in between the legs to allow you to get through the ride uh and then be able to run in the exact same pair of shorts now for a top you're going to want to go ahead and either get a tri top which is a triathlon top uh like this one here where it fits over, it fits tight, has some pockets in the back that you can stash uh, gels, a very aerodynamic, dries very quickly, it moisture wicks away. If you don't want to pick up a tri top, you can also, as a guy, you can wear a tighter fitting uh, moisture wicking t-shirt. A woman can wear the moisture wicking shirt with a sports bra. Uh, that'll get the job done. The other option is a one piece tri kit. And what that is, is literally a kit that is the tri shorts, the tri top, all built into one, has the pockets in the back. There's a links down below to a couple that I have found on the internet that are very reasonably priced and good quality. You don't want to skimp on quality on your tri suit. The other things you're going to need are a helmet for your bike got to be a good quality helmet in good condition and a pair of sunglasses you want to protect your eyes at all costs on the bike you want to have hydration you want to carry a water bottle with you with an electrolyte mix in there your running shoes now if you're using a bike with flat pedals this will work and you also need for most of us a pair of socks on the run you want to have your shoes again if you had flat pedals you just transition right onto the run a hat or a visor and a run belt like this one is another great piece of kit to help you in your triathlon race. 
That brings us to our last and probably the most important tip, and that's tip number eight, and that's your race day. On race day, you need to have a plan. You need, your plan needs to be set up well in advance of the race. You need to know how long it's gonna take you to get to the race. You need to know where the race is going to be, the exact location. You don't want to be late. Now, you wanna get there early. It makes it much easier on you to have that extra time to get through registration, packet pickup, and set up your transition. You do not wanna be pressed for time. As far as the race itself goes, the best advice that I can give you for your race, don't get involved in the race. The worst thing that you can do, worst thing that you can do is go out hard on the swim. There's going to be a lot of adrenaline going on and you're going to want to go hard. A hundred yards into that swim, you're going to be toast and you're not going to get it back for the rest of the race. So take your time and swim your pace through that swim. Nice, easy transition, bike ride, transition, run. And then at the end, you'll cross the finish line and forever you will be a triathlete when they put that finisher's medal over your neck. So there you have it, my top eight tips for a brand new triathlete. If you've gotten value out of this video, go right here, hit subscribe. I will be bringing you more videos every week to try to bring you the best information possible. If you're interested in that 10 week for $10 triathlon training plan, go down below, you'll find my email, email me, and I will set you up with that plan and we will get you going and we will make you a triathlete. Check out these right here. Great information. This on the top is that playlist I was talking about with all of the great beginner information. And this video is set up just for you. This is Coach John. Boom.